morning everybody. So after thinking about it for a while, I started deciding that the cot wasn't really gonna work for me. I hadn't slept in it for a long time. It only been maybe a couple of weeks, but in that amount of time, I started to realize there were some things I didn't like about it. If I didn't have my giant sleeping pad, the one that's like that thick, it probably would have been great. But because I had that pad, there was just a lot of cushion just because of the pad alone. And I started realizing I didn't need something as springy as the cot. And the reason is, so this is the cot that I was sleeping on. This is a Coleman springy cot. I don't know what it is, but it's got these springs on here. So when I lay down on it, it kind of flexes downward. It's not, it's not flat. And the reason that ended up being a problem for me was because since it would flex, if I put anything underneath it, I would rest on top of that. And it wasn't necessarily uncomfortable because like I said before, I had that big foam like pad, but I was worried I was gonna damage something like if I shifted and rolled onto something that was plastic or like I had a really big issue with, I had a spray can of canola oil and the lid had popped off and sometimes if I'd roll over, I'd start spraying canola oil like all over all my junk in the back and oil is not easy to clean. So it just, it was not working out for me. So then I asked my dad if he'd be able to help me and we came up with an idea to build a wooden platform in the back of the Jeep, which he's offered to help build for me before, but uh, I was never for it because I figured the cot would be more comfortable, which it probably will be, but it just won't be as easy to store stuff underneath it and different things. So my idea was to make it just like a cot. I was just gonna have pegs, like wooden legs, like the one time I built a platform a long time ago. I was gonna base it off of that, but have it like a cot only on one side instead of going all the way across. And uh, my dad didn't think that was gonna work. He figured it wasn't gonna be as sturdy. So I was thinking more on how much stuff I can cram underneath it. And my dad was thinking more of how can we make it so it's not gonna you know, break or fall apart or whatever. So we kinda had to break even. And so we're trying to find the most effective way to still be able to fit storage inside of the Jeep while also making a platform that will last a long time. So that's what my dad's doing. And I have no idea how to do any of this. Every time I've ever cut wood, it was really choppy. So that's what we're doing. I did help a little bit though, cause this board right here is actually the same board I used when I built the platform that went all the way across for my little test dummy or whatever. Oh yeah, did you guys see my sticker by the way? Right there. If you want those, those are in the link of the description. I think it's pretty cool, I'm very proud of it. It looks very good, it's a good feature to my dad's new Jeep. Oh yeah, I also got this tank tops this is the first tank I think I've ever had like ever I mostly bought it for like if I'm ever gonna be working out or stupid hot outside and muggy the problem is is this is the original cotton and it was actually super itchy and uncomfortable and I kind of not a huge fan I just put lotion on my arms actually because it was like killing me but um that and I need to tan my shoulders but we're not gonna talk about that but um, on the merch store, I just changed like everything. So now the tops and the shirts are both um, the premium tees and premium tank tops. So they should be a softer cotton material. I think it's like half cotton, half polyester. I really don't know. But it's the nice comfortable one. So now all the shirts and everything should all be nice and comfortable. And it's just better overall. Best premium quality for all of my supporters who want to purchase one of my items. I'm really trying to upsell this if you can't tell. <laughs> like a big shotgun. <laughs> I still love Easter, baby. Turns out my makeshift build actually fit pretty good. In the long term. I modified a little bit, but you saved me a lot of time. Yeah, I mean... You pre-patterned it. <laughs> you can't tell, though. You can't tell how bad it was before. Oh, yeah. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> Figured out. I have no idea what we're doing. Like we have to buy more? Oh. So uh, I really wanted to organize my Jeep the way I had in mind, which is kind of the way I've been doing it, where I put my water jug, 
underneath the frame of the bed and so since I was building it I was like I want to be able to put that under my bed and I want to be able to put like all the dish stuff behind there and then have all the other things on the other side and like that was something we were going back and forth on my dad was saying we couldn't do that because if we did that and we put the water jug underneath it's gonna have to, I'm gonna have to like lift on the whole bed every time I get the water jug underneath so right here we're gonna have a hinge door so it'll lift every time I pull this out so as I'm lifting on it like this it'll have a hinge right here so it'll just pivot up and it'll relieve all the pressure and everything from the whole bed that way I don't have to pull on the bed every time so we're gonna have one hitch here we're gonna have another one over there so I can lift up if I'm ever having trouble getting to something so it's not all crammed underneath there but I can still put everything underneath there and it's still gonna be sturdy because it's gonna have this frame it's gonna work out great Dad finally figured out something that works, even though it took a lot of work. Call it the Indian teepee. The Indian teepee? Okay. It's the Indian teepee. That's, that's the design. Ta-da. That's our teepee. Natural air support hole right here. It's a chiropractic thing. Yeah, you leave your head down and just let it rest on air. Yeah, gravity. It's an air, it's like an avatar thing. <laughs> I'll put you put your head Airbender. <laughs> Lunch break. Lunch break. <laughs> that's kind of weird. Yeah, it's weird. See, I thought you were saying you wanted to put the spare that's back there and swap that out with the one that's going flat. And I was like, why would you do that? Did you mean that you wanted to buy a new spare tire uh, and put that uh, one as the spare? I thought three were new and one was used. And I was like, oh, it is smooth. Yeah. See, like mine, mine doesn't feel like you're going to break anything, but it feels like it's like going to go airborne or something. Yeah, you stiff. expect it. It's crazy how soft it is. <laughs> Tell it's Mexican restaurant. Okay, so this is actually gonna be a, have to be a two-part video because we're almost done with it, but I was putting polyurethane on it and stuff. That way it won't mildew or at least has a better chance of not mildewing and stuff. And while I was wiping it on, it started to rain and uh, it was just a whole spiel. And now it's getting dark, so I'm gonna have to finish up this video. Probably gonna get it tossed in by tonight, but uh, I don't think I'll be able to show you because it's gonna be too dark. The plan was actually to leave Saturday, but that's not gonna happen because first of all, we didn't have this platform thing built and um, I still need to actually take the Jeep to Jeff 
to get him to like weld supports onto the bumper so I don't break my bumper and roof rack and everything halfway down the road. I still need to pack up, but the biggest reason is because I actually found out why my headaches have been like migraines, nausea, fever, feverish migraines, and uh, it's because of this. And so yeah, that, that would explain all of that happening. So I actually need to get my wisdom teeth removed. It's like growing in sideways and everything. And apparently it's growing like into bone and stuff. So it's gonna be pretty bad. Initially it was gonna cost like 2,400 bucks, but insurance is actually gonna cover a lot of it. So it's actually affordable now. Whereas before it was more than what I even have. So that's what's going on for now. I'm gonna get this whole thing whipped up and then I will show you guys the finished project tomorrow. I like everything about you